everybody, this is Sherry with CPR, Craft, Pray, Repeat. And I'm back with another set of Christmas tags. And for this set of Christmas tags, I used this Simon Says Stamp uh, little gnome set. And oh my golly, was this fun to play with. I've never used any of these dies where it comes in one piece like that before. I think they're called their storybook dies or something. And it was super easy to do. They were such tiny pieces that you could use scraps, which was perfect. Because then it enabled me to use the same freeze paper pad a lot longer. And then I just used some of my basic tag dies. But I wanted to start out by showing you this. And I'll be right back in one second with my first tag. Alright everybody, this is my first tag. I used my Tim Holtz Distress Inks to ink the... Um, the little guy up. I used my Copic markers to do in the beard, which he's not one of my favorites as far as his beard turned out. But I'm trying different techniques with it, and eventually I will get what I like. I just used um, some of the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide inks. I believe it was Salty Ocean to do the snowflakes in the back and I just used a background stamp that I'd had for a long time. This right here, and I'm not sure how much the camera's picking up, is one of the clear tinsel snowflakes that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. I used, and oh, I wish you guys could see this, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Can you see the dimension on his little nose right there? That is with the Nouveau crystal glaze and you were I was able to puff that little booger right up so it really stands out and it looks more dimensional I absolutely love how that looked which is one of the reasons I love the um, Nuvo crystal glaze because you can make it more dimensional and then I just put a little pom-pom ball from my stash I used some bells that I purchased from and they jingle from um, AliExpress and I will link them because I got them in all different colors for this holiday season. Absolutely love him and I just popped him up on some foam dots and I'll be back in one second with my next. Alright, here's my next um, Christmas tag and this whole set is going to be of different gnomes. Here is the snowflake that I um, show in another video. It came from a gable box that I had purchased from AliExpress, and this is the inside of it. I just cut it out with silver glitter paper, did my little gnome, inked him up, used a green pom-pom ball for his little hat, used a background stamp that I've had for several years. I don't know where I got it from, if I can figure it out. I, it might have been Amazon or eBay. I can't remember because I've had it for a long time. But I used it on the back here and just stamped it on red cardstock. The same color cardstock that I did his hat out of. Again, put the Nouveau Crystal Glaze so there's a nice big bulbous little nose coming out there. Now I did him directly down to the paper. This one I popped up with pop dots and I'll be back in one second with my third and final tag for this set everybody here is my third and final tag for this set I used some paper that I had in my stash I've had it for a couple years now I had a couple sheets left so I just used it and it had silver snowflakes so it kind of went with the theme I was going for with this set of tags and like I said this one's glued directly down this one's popped up on dimensionals and this one's on an action wobble <laughs> And I don't like those Action Wobble Minis, I'm not going to lie. I like the big ones because they just, I feel, wobble better. And so I just trimmed it off. And you can see, he, you can't see it. It fit fine. And um, absolutely love him. I used from the same paper pad the papers for his little hat and his body here. And, I mean, this thing is so... It, it's not so small. I mean, he could technically be used as his own little tag, I think. But because the pieces are, you know, just tiny pieces, it was I was able to um, 
just use scraps to to make him and you can see the progression of my beard here i'm I, i'm just not really feeling how i'm i'm doing it i can't seem to get it the way i would like for these two so i just kind of did a better blend on this one i use the spectrum noir um right here the glitter ink that was gifted to me by uh, crafty bean here on youtube for his beard so it just sparkles absolutely love it use some twine that i had laying on my desk that came something came wrapped in it and i've saved it for a year and then finally got to use it i loved it so much it's like off white with silver um tinsel running through it absolutely love it and see i just i love how he just you know I just think it, it just gives him character. I love it. And I really had a blast playing with this gnome. And I just think that the three looks are all, like completely different. You know, he looks more old world here. More, you know, um, whimsical here. I just, I absolutely love it. And um, I hope that you like this set. Let me know which is your favorite. And I am going to be using some more action wobbles on my uh, tags this year. So that'll be something fun, I think. And um, absolutely had a blast. Alright, let me know which is your favorite. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And remember to practice your CPR. Craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.